Tonight we'll see and hear firsthand this kind of sound. Let's hear the rest of it. Scarlett likes to shoot the three, and that's good. Hi everyone, it's Chris Scarlett checking in uh, with the Kessels family. Hope everyone's staying well, staying safe in this time, and uh, making sure you're staying inside and not having to go out when you don't need to. Obviously, one of our best years in Division One as a team, winning two pieces of silverware, getting to the BBL Trophy final. Um, obviously, coming up short, which was a shame, but took Newcastle right down to the last leg. Um, as a team, I mean, it speaks volumes of what we could have done throughout the whole Division 1, I do believe personally, and I think the whole team believes it as well. We definitely could have gone unbeaten in Division 1 throughout the year. Um, and just the guys I was playing with was just unbelievable. Like To be with such a talented group of guys, but also being so unselfish, playing team basketball, defence comes first, and just the way we were playing was just so fun to play. I'm sure all the Kessels family would say it was fun to watch as well. Unfortunately for me, with the job that I do, I have been working longer hours. Um, working in a supermarket obviously isn't the easiest at this time, so there's no lockdown, there's no working from home. So I am still going into work five days a week at the moment. So apart from that, keeping busy when I'm not at work, I'm doing 5k runs pretty much every day, trying to stay in a bit of shape for next season and just trying to stay on top of my diet really, trying not to eat as many carries as I was during the season because obviously not using as many because there's no practice, no games and whatever. But other than that, still trying to stay on top of my diet and uh, keep working out as much as I can. Obviously going unbeaten in Division 1 was obviously a great part of it. Getting to the BBL Trophy yes, Final and winning two pieces of silverware in the season as well. The Cup Final against Reading was a great experience, great fun. Everyone played really well in that one. But the thing I think I enjoyed most is probably the guys I've been playing with. Such a talented group of guys, so unselfish and just a fun group of guys to be around. As well as the the game day feeling. I mean, when I was when we were at places, I thought that was a great game day experience. And now being at the SSC is just blown out of proportion and just skyrocketed to the next level. So hopefully we can just keep packing that out season after season and just keep going on. And that's all down to the Kessels family and the Kessels fans, all the volunteers that go into the game day experience as well. So... Yeah, well, I think it might be pretty obvious, but personally for me, my favourite game was the Bristol home game. Obviously, Luke um, hurting his foot during the warm-up was quite a big blow. Um, I'm just thankful I was able to step up and just help the team get the job done. Um, while we are at home, obviously, beating the BBL team by 38 points, I think it was. It was obviously a great feeling, and then obviously being part of like a... 15 or 18 0 run, I think it was, was a great feeling for me as well. As a team, I think the BBL Trophy final, we showed what we were absolutely right. capable of doing. I do still believe we could have won it. Um, some things didn't go our way, but um, I still think that was a great game for us and for us as a club. I feel like it was an amazing thing for us to do. Unfortunately, I don't really watch a lot of basketball and I didn't really watch a lot of basketball when I was younger. It was more through someone saying I should start playing at school. So from my school coaches, Paul Barry and Chris Sheldick, they really started to drive my passion for basketball. Also from my first proper coach at Solent, which was um, Vicky Milner. Uh, she helped me develop my game, as well as Jimmy Guyman, Matt as well, when I've become uh, a senior. But Bev Guyman also really drove my passion. She's a person that helped me get to America. She's the reason I got there. She kept fighting and fighting for me to get there after a number of things fell through so also my coach in america is a big influence on me coach gibson i stay in touch with him weekly as well so it's not really a certain player it's just more the coaches that have helped me and really drove my passion for the game unfortunately for me i didn't get the chance to hang around with the guys outside of basketball too much um apart from like weekends away for games and whatever but just being in like the services and traveling with guys i mean travis obviously Everyone knows he's a huge character and will just say anything as loud as he wants. He will yell it, he doesn't care who's looking. But to be effortlessly funny is probably going to be what everyone else is saying is just John Lashley. He's like, he's just an absolute clown. He's a character. He doesn't even mean to be like that. It's just so easy for him. So yeah, I probably have to say John's probably the funniest on the team. 
Ian would probably be my kind of style. He just always seemed like really relaxed, like sweatshirts, sweatpants, and a, and a hat. Unfortunately, I never had a chance to go out with the guys, but I had heard about Travis's famous uh, leather jacket. So I'm pretty sure he's probably the only guy that could probably pull that off in Southampton. So, I mean, I'm sure no one's going to say otherwise. But for me, I would have to say, uh, have to say Ian. Uh, he's more my kind of style, so. I'd have to say probably Luke. I always enjoyed it when he was on Yorks. I mean, it wasn't always like the hype type of music, but it's still music that I liked. I don't really need like an upbeat type of music to get into the zone for a game, but any music that I like and I know is what helps me get into it. So Luke played a lot of a lot of things that I knew, a lot of things that I liked. I think I kind of surprised him as well, knowing those, knowing those songs. So yeah, I'd have to say Luke for me. Okay, Kessel's family, well, that's my uh, Time Out episode done. Hope everyone keeps staying safe, stay inside, keep washing your hands, and uh, only make essential trips out when you need to. Make sure you're keeping in touch with your family as well. Just keep checking up on them, even though you can't see them, and uh, stay safe and stay healthy.